previously on Final Fantasy 16. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom weeping spider. That... <laughs> Thank you, Clive. And now back to Yoshi Peak Fiction. Sneak a B! Back with some more Final Fantasy 16. When we last left off, ah, you know, just get through some side quests, killing some spiders, and killing a Marlboro, or Marble, or whatever the fuck. Helping Blackthorn reconnect with some guy with his past, and help Atari have mercy kill someone. You know, pretty basic stuff, but oh my god! Theo! No! Ah! Halloween Starlock! Oh my god! No, look! This is fucked up! Why? Why? Yeah, so that quest happened. <laughs> god dang, dude. All I gotta say is, man, this game's side quest is just like the main story of this game, where it, it is an absolute mixed bag, where its highs are so high, and its lows are pretty damn low. But holy fuck, dude. One of the best quests in the game, and just, I like, just... Couldn't believe how hard they went in on that one. With Theo giving his life to to save Eloise and leaving Clive to help see that her dream comes true. And I think it's really unfortunate because I feel like a lot of people are very likely not going to play all of the side stuff in this game. They're probably going to play through like a chunk of them and then find them to be rather dull overall and just decide after a while not to do it or just skip through most of the dialogue. And I can't really say I blame them because a large chunk of these side quests really are kind of kind of dull. They just drag on a little too long or feel a little too insubstantial to, to stand up on their own. But goddamn, dude, are there some ones in this game that are fucking awesome? They're so fucking good. They just punch you right in the gut full of feels. And that one from last episode was easily one of the best ones. I mean, it's messed up. I'm not saying I wish, I'm glad that Theo died, but it made me freaking feel for them, you know? And it sort of put into perspective just how fucked up this whole situation was. But along those uh, same lines, uh, last episode, uh, Yvonne Evesna said, I remember watching one live streamer finish the side quest to see Theo die. One of the viewers commented, he would have lived if you'd never finished the side quest. To which the streamer kind of looked off into space for a second before replying, I fucking hate that you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it, you're right, guys. We should get a load of old save, all right? And then just never do that quest. Never, ever. And Theo will live, all right? That's, it. That's how you save him. That's how you save them all. Just go and beat Ultima, all right? And then uh, that means that uh, Theo survived beyond the credits. And we're good, right? Right, right. Uh, Yvonne, thank you so much for your morbidly accurate comment. And it's the reason you are comment of the day. But yeah, I think the other problem, too, with just the quest, aside from the fact that some of the, the storylines involving them can be a bit dull, as I think that what they're having you do is also pretty dull as well. And it's not even so much that, like, because you guys know, right? Like, I've already mentioned before how a number of quests in Xenoblade 3 even, who, which have this great quest, but uh, still has you doing pretty mundane things, similarly to the Yakuza stuff. But the problem is that what they're actually having you do in these instances are so freaking similar to each other. Really, I feel like almost all of them could be divided down to search for some kind of ingredient, kill a specific monster, talk to another NPC, and that's it. Just like those three, or any any time what you're doing. I mean, even Yakuza would at least have you throw in some curveballs, have you name a cat D's and another one nuts bitch, or some shit. You know, I saw somebody bring this up, and I, I kind of have to agree. I think that this game really could have done to have, like, some kind of, like, side quest mini game whether it be like a card game a la like ff8 or ff9 blitzball like ff10 or like the fishing mini game of ff15 just like something else to help sort of break up the gameplay and they could also tie into some of the quests because the gameplay of this game truly is the battle system and nothing else there's not even really any like gameplay and trying to like min max your build very much because it's all very straightforward aside from combining different abilities that's probably about as close as you get we're speaking of i actually went here and i'm trying something different i i've sort of realized i don't know if shiva is i find to be super great like she's okay I, like the dodge thing is is all right but I, I don't know if i'm finding when i land it to be quite enough and mesmerize is is pretty good for the stagger damage this move is very awkward unfortunately this like i I think this move with Lightning Rod could be really good, but the problem is because it doesn't collide on hit, I have to be a specific distance away, and it just it's just super awkward to use. So I, I kept trying to do it last episode, and it was just like, 
getting those two things to line up was so needlessly difficult. And Ice Age is just kind of basic. I also thought Diamond Dust, eh, it's sort of like the same thing that I feel about, well, actually, I actually think Diamond Dust, to be honest, is actually worse than this one, because this one stays on the screen for fucking ever. It stays on the screen and just chases dudes down and continues to build up your limit gauge. This one will get it all in one big burst, but I found that the the damage, I mean, it, the stagger damage is crazy because it will instantly knock them down. But the issue is that most of my skills haven't like gone back up again so that I can like use them during a staggered state, right? So I'm kind of finding the one the moves that are the super moves that are like dealing stagger damage to be kind of pointless. It's almost better that I it takes a bit of time for me to build them back up again because it need to I need to allow my other moves to get go through their cooldowns. So I'm actually now doing a really weird combination here. I'm like really trying to like min max this. So I actually got rid of the Phoenix move because I realized I wasn't using it at all. I wasn't using that teleport move like at all. I don't think I've used it probably in like the past 10 episodes. So I uh, I went back to Garuda because Garuda's just very good. And the fact that I can pull dudes over when I get halfway through with stamina break is good. Um, I put back on Gouge. Uh, I got Judgment Ball as well as Lightning Rod. Uh, I took the moves that I was using with Phoenix or Ifrit and I just put them on Titan because Titan just has a better one by in general. So I have the Willow Wikes as well as Ignition. I decided to keep on Bahamut because I, I really feel like out of all of them, like I still think sh I think Shiva's is only all right. And I already have like a dodge that, you know, with the Berserker ring that already works really well. Um, and I don't think this one's like necessarily like necessary, necessarily necessary. I don't think I really need it, especially if I have this, which has other uses to it. And this one just I don't think this is very good either. So I feel like these are kind of the better ones, though. I, I don't know. I, I don't still love this move. I still think it's 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 all right. But for the, how I play the game, I, I don't find myself using it like necessarily a ton because it just essentially means I have to stop attacking to dodge. But yeah, so I think I have like all of like my major moves that I, I like that are useful and something to build up stagger. I was initially going to go with the the punch move uh, that's on Titan. Because I love pulling off that counter, but it's also a little awkward with some enemies. But the only reason I'd use it is for its stagger. So, and I feel like if I'm just going to do that, I might as well just get Gouge. Gouge is basically that, but better. <laughs> At least for stagger. So, I don't know. I haven't tried this build yet, but I, I do kind of want to experiment a little bit. I do hope that when, he, when we inevitably get Odin, I hope his moves are fucking sick. I feel like they have the potential to be something insanely dope. But yeah, I find it funny that I, I keep saying that, like, my, my goal and my aim has been to try to cut down on some of these side quests because a lot of them have been kind of dull, but we ended up honestly keeping a lot of the ones uh, in from last episode because there were some pretty decent uh, character building ones. It does seem like as we've gotten further in here, I think they have gotten a bit better. Not all perfect, but at least a bit better than some of the ones we got at the beginning and in the middle. Probably because we're getting close to the end of the game and we're starting to wrap up some uh, character plot lines. And we're sort of seeing too, as you do that, right? We're getting things to put in my room over here. So that's what we're going to end up filling it out with, is the quest times that I get for each of the different side characters whose uh, character arts are finished. But okay, um, we do have a few quests left for uh, potentially going and uh, fighting Barnabas. But before we do that, I think I want to go do another one of these uh, Chronolith things. I think there's supposed to be one over here somewhere? Let me check. I had to go look it up because I was like, I've already found all the ones that I, I came across, so. Oh, yeah, look at there it is. How the fuck did I miss this? It was like right on the path, too. Hey, Trial Phoenix. It's ancient men here waiting if Hero Trial must overcome a haste hey, deadly foes. All right, is it just Phoenix? So no uh, different moves? God, I haven't used these moves in fucking forever. I don't think I've even seen them uh, actually upgraded at all. So, yep, the Rising Flame and Scarlet Cyclone. Okay, King some of these are a little awkward, some of the shifting ones, especially th th this one, double sh land a shift shot on an enemy in the air two times. It's almost like impossible to do to any ground enemies. If I, if I stay, even if I stay in the air doing it, I'll, I'll just fall to the ground before I can actually get the air shot off. So it basically has to be air enemies. Okay, now heat wave. Oh, like that shit. Oh, fucking goddamn. I got wrecked by that guy. 
Okay, that guy's dead. Well, last thing is, I think the next one is when I'll get the, uh... The area hit move that also heals me. Or at least fills back my gray life. Yep, flames of rebirth. Oh god, it's too early. Shit. Fuck this shit. Uh... Holy shit. Uh... That wasn't a fucking projectile. God damn it. Oh, God. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Come on, man. Uh, oh, but well, skin of my teeth. Ah, oh, shit! And this last one, two and a half minutes. Ah, uh, will this be be enough? Cause now I can't get any more time back. Okay, what am I fighting? Oh, this thing. So I have the wing, right? Yeah, rising flame and flames of rebirth. All right, here we go. Ow, fucker. God dang it. Oh, man. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. Okay, almost, almost, come on. Come on, just bring a stagger. Ah, come on, ah, yes. Okay, here we go. Fucking nuke this bitch. Ah. Okay, come on, come on. Ah. Okay, here we go. Ah. Oh, yes. Oh, thank God. Woo! Just barely. Fair or fire? Increases flames or rebirth damage by 8%. All right. These are actually pretty fun. I really wish the rewards you got for them were more interesting. The rewards are so just like whatever. Hey, all right. Here's one over here. And I'm just going to bet this one's Titan. This is over in the dumb... Uh, does Mechus area. Although the, these haven't, I don't know, exactly been super consistent. Oh, it learned, does this really say the hand of Titan? It, yeah. All right. I think this one should be fun. I really do like using the uh, Titan icon. So Raging Fist and then Upheaval. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. All right, first one's done. Okay, now I get the wind up, which means I lose my damn stagger move, but whatever. Oh. Yeah, Titan's just fun, man. This is fucking fun. All right, now for the table flip, which I've actually never used. Earth and Fury. Drop both hands to the ground, causing land to surge upwards and send nearby enemies flying. Table flip! Uh, uh, that works. Oh, God. Sliming this thing. That's not good. Oh, God. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's a fucking crazy. All right. Oh, God. Fuck it. Tip fl or flip the table. Uh! Uh! All right. Damn, I got so much time. All right. Now I have table flip and the punch one. Yeah, the table flip one doesn't seem great. The, the cooldown on it, too, is insanely long. It takes so long for it to come back. Iron Giant. All right. And I got my Raging Fist back, at least. Oh, 
Ah, oh, that's the shit, man. God, Titan's so fucking fun to play as. Ah, oh, yeah. Dead. Fucking get wrecked. First try. No problem. Ah, uh, and I got a boost for the move. That kind of sucks. All right. Uh, I think that's all I can do for the moment for that. So let's see what's going on with Doris. We saw earlier uh, who ran off over here. Oh, there she is. It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's Rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So, was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort. Which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid, but I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? I'll do the cool part. The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Okay, that's over here. Good. They haven't broken camp yet. How did Doris come to know a slaver, I wonder? We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste. Lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. Oh, we coming, don't worry. Ready. We coming. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, Mom. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> he just looks over to the left, and I'm there. Wow, wait up, sort of. To try. Just kind of hiding in plain sight there, uh, Clive. Come on, fucking hit me. Hit me, bitch. Ow, fuck, you hit me. Shit. Why'd you hit me? Why the fuck did you fucking hit me? You piece of shit. Uh... Oh, fuck both of you guys. Uh... Mercy. <laughs> I'm dying. Hi there. So much for your escort. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. Nor do I have a sword to use! I surrender. Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. Okay. Sid. Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade? You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Ah. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. She used to work for her? This woman. Yeah. My former master. Once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter. And I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible, surely. We had our fun, too. We went to Denny's. You were always so eager to learn and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. You could read and stab. That's why I kept you for my own. 
How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause, to liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. Bye. Put you under arrest or anything, or no? What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. That's okay, I am. She no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. All right. If you're certain. I am. And thank you. For everything. Now, I better let these bearers know that they're safe. <laughs> Are we, though? Did you see that guy? He was fucking punching him in the face so many times. Oh, God. And I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. Oh, nice. It just took me back here. Funny how that... It's nice it just does that, you know? It's nice you have to go there yourself. A lot of times it'll just transport you back. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and your letter. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. Went quietly, or so we're told. And she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be all right. I hope so. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. The curse breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole. Alrighty. Okay, it looks like Martha's got something as well. Ah, Clive. I was just about to send for you. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time they started growing their own food. And a sandwich. I'll keep providing them with whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if Eastpool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As of those poor bearers. They've lived their whole lives in servitude, but now they're their own masters. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. So it's up to us to teach them. And if you're wondering why you, well, the wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around the village of late. Sir Wade's putting a brave face on it, but I think even he's starting to worry. And if he's likely to share those concerns with anyone, it's you. No! Okay, fine. All right. Thanks. Wouldn't ask if I didn't have to. There. That should be enough to keep him in Gazal Greens for a few years at least. I always say call them Gushel Greens. Gazal Greens. Not the most mouth-watering crop, I'll admit. But they're hardy, they grow fast, and they fill a hole. Better that than something that'll wither away at first frost. And Chocobos love them too, which is no small thing. When I say all of us need to pull together to get Eastpool back on its feet, I mean all of us. They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right, and they're just about bearable. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Anyway, Sir Wade'll know what to do with them. And if he don't, well... Fuck him. I'll go up there and show him myself. I'm sure you will. Kindling the flame. Deuce. It seems like this acting is maybe both Martha and Wade's, like, kind of side story, you know? Or, uh, lasting character arc. Like, I like that we actually went back and sort of redid things with Eastpool here. Ah. Lord Rossfield. What brings you to Eastpool? A delivery from Martha. Eat this. 
These are Gizal green seats. Martha's keen to cut the apron strings, then, is she? I jest, of course. You see, I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed, only without the seeds. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these, so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. They know little of freedom, of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far, subsisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves. Bearers and Guardians alike. How do I make the well work without a crystal? God damn it! Unfortunately, we've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of... The Horde is closing in. The Horde! They're coming, so wait, all of them. Damn it all, I thought we'd have more time. Gather the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcements. Yes, Sir Wade. The Horde. A Kashek, a veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the Guardians might be able to defend the village, but... Now you're out of time. Precisely. If reinforcements from the rest arrive before they do, we may just scrape through, but I fear that's rather an enormous if. What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? You mean the bearers? We brought them here so they might live, not die, fighting for their lives. So wait. You said you lack men to defend the village. Are the bearers not men? Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved? Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians, what help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. Clive! Clive! We just go beat them up ourselves. Let's be honest, alright? We just go do it ourselves. We, there's literally no reason for any of these guys to do anything. We're a god. We could just literally go over there and fart on them till they die. You're right, my lord. I will appeal to them. My friends, I humbly beg your aid. We guardians are few and our enemies many. But I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. You would send us to the slaughter. That was an actual cutscene. To serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. Yes. And to think we trusted you. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. But it is worth fighting for. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one. Didn't you? This place, East Pool. This is your village, your home. And if you don't fight to protect what's yours, you'll lose it. You know I'm right. This world wants to take everything from you. Everything. Homes, your freedom, your very lives. So then, are you going to stand by and let that happen to you? Yes! Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die having never stood up for yourselves? Oh my gosh, she's got a fry pan! You fight like free men and women!
right. Give me a sword. I'll beat their ass. I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine, or die trying. We all will. Free men and women, fighting together. For Eastpool! For Eastpool! For Kalimdor! Yeah. For the Horde! Oh wait, no, we're fighting them. Thank you, Martha. I always sucked at speeches. Don't mention it. Just promise me one thing. That you'll show them how freeborn fight. <laughs> Gladly. Cool. I got we're getting this little bit of extra cinematography for these quests. Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. Thanks to you. Me? Oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. Lord Rossfield, my lady. We're ready. So what's the plan of action? We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves at strategic points around the village. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can, steadily retreating all the while. You're going to lure them into the village? I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. Instead, we will focus purely on defense at first. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of our choosing. With luck, that point will be the village square. The perfect place for our most able warriors to surround them and fall upon them. And for you and I to finish them off. A sound plan. But one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerves to coordinate the retreat. Oh, wait a minute, that's me! I'd say you have both in abundance await. But you'll be needed. Please, leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let you have all the glory. Yes. Sir Wade! They're here! Then you know what you must do. We work together. Everyone playing their part. Each shielding the other that no man might fall. That Eastpool might live on. For Rosaria. For Rosaria! For the king! Who's dead? We've no time to argue, my lord. I'll do as you ask. Then I will do as you ask. To stay out of my fucking way. I suppose we'd better do our bit too, then, eh? Yeah, get your frying oh, pan, you Martha. You are, Martha. All right, here we go. Well, this doesn't end with a fucking dragon again. I'm sick of those bastards. The calm before the storm. Oh, there they are. That didn't take long. And here it comes. Get out of here, you little dirty birdies, you! Who dare fucking try to harm this city? Ah! You're finished. Oh, that's it. Really? Not a single stagger enemy. Just a bunch of scrubs. Looks like that's the last of them. Oh, done. Lord Rossfield, change of plan. What is it? Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's ride and is headed in their direction. Oh, oh never mind. The better half of her guard is here. So wait, how many Akashic remain in East Pool? Hard to say. My men are still facing some resistance, but I think the worst is behind us. I could order a detachment or two to fall back and... No. Let them finish the job. You stay here too, Sir Wade. Your men need you. I'll go after the Curl. Join me only when East Pool is won. If you're sure, my lord. May the Founder protect you. Okay, and that's uh, over here. Mr. Kenny, what have you been doing? Have you been juicing again? There it is. With me, Tom. 
Ow. Uh, Mr. Kitty, I'm missing you. Damn it. Oh, uh, no, Mr. Kitty. Uh, All right. Back to East Pool. Oh, man, we just came from there, though. Can we just fast travel? Ah. Uh, can we ride on the chocobo sometime? Can I? No. Ah. Uh. Lord Rossfield, the curl, is it? It's dead. Thank the founder for that. And for you, my lord. My lord. We were able to eradicate the rest of the horde. I have guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attacks, but all seems quiet for now. I hesitate to say it, but I think it might be over. I think it might. We did it. We saved Eastpool. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. We didn't know what it meant to protect it. But now we do. We really do. Forgive us, Sir Wade. You and your people saved us. And still we doubted you. But there's no doubt in my mind anymore. We're free men now. So we have to start acting like it. We have to fight to protect what's ours. To protect Eastpool. And we shall. We all shall. Together. This is our home. And if anyone or anything tries to take it away, well, fuck it, kill have us to answer to. Come on, then. Let's get to work. This village isn't going to rebuild itself. Ah <laughs> they all started laughing. There was much jubilation. They're not slaves anymore. No. They're Rosarians. Your father took pity on the bearer's plight. And I believe if he were still with us today, this is what he would have wanted. I believe you might be right. I shall remain here, my lord, and do what I can to help rebuild the village. After all, this is my home now, too. And I could hardly call myself an East Poolian if I didn't pull my weight. I think you'll find it's East Pudlian, Sir Wade. Nah. What the hell did you come from? You should from? be proud all the same. I'll have to pull my weight too. Can't have the rest getting outclassed. I had an Akashic Speaking with a frying which, pan! I ought to be getting back. It made a funny sound! Can we continue to count on your support, Martha? Of course. And I'd be counting on yours too. Us Rosarians have got to stick together, haven't we? Indeed we have. And Clive, come by the Golden Stables when you get the chance. I ain't paid you for delivering them seeds yet. Pay right. me now. I will. No, you gotta come over there and do it. Oh, God damn it. Why didn't you bring the roar with you when he came over here? Lord Rossfield, do you remember our very first mission together? Clearing the goblins from the Stillwind Marshes. <laughs> How could I forget? You are such a basic bitch back then, Clive. <laughs> There's one side that I shall never forget. Now look at you. You facing off against that giant morble. Not a trace of fear on your face. Since that day, there have been more than a few times when I felt like giving up. When the odds seemed so stacked in the enemy's favor, I thought I may as well just lay down my sword and surrender. But every time I would think back to the look in your eyes that day and remember what it means to be a shield. Know that whatever trials Eastpool may face, I shall never lose courage. Thanks to you. So wait. You have always been a true shield. And a true bro. I know that Eastpool, and indeed all of Rosaria, will be safe in your hands. Thank you, my lord. I know the rest of the world will be safe in yours. 
I'll do my best. Aw. That was sweet. Alright, Martha, go give me give me my goddamn bullshit! Where's my rock? The hero returns. It's lucky you came by when you did, eh? Not only did my seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. I just did what I could. And it's only right that you get rewarded for it. Take it before I change my mind. Thank you, Martha. So, Eastpool's finally back on its feet again. And a home to free bearers. Who'd have thought we'd see the day, eh? Well, it was your idea. I know that, but... I never stopped to think what it would mean. Bearers in charge of themselves, thinking for themselves, working for themselves. Like your hideaway, but not even hidden away. Though I suppose the rest ain't much different nowadays. You know... Bearers living free like that. Reminds me of when I first met Sid. Loath as I am to recall that particular day. I take it you didn't always see eye to eye. What happened? Well, if you really want to know, I started doing what I do long before I met Sid. In fact, that's how I met him. Or at least how he came to meet me. He showed up at the stables one day, asking questions about who'd been buying up bearers. Founder knows what he thought I was doing with them. Running a hunt, poking around in their innards. Something awful, anyway. Me? I thought he was a new constable. Thought the game was up. But somehow we both managed to work out what each other was about. And before I knew it, the cheeky arse was rattling on at me about how I was doing it all wrong. After all my hard work... Pfft, ...told me I was giving them relief, but not freedom. That my bearers were still dying as slaves. Got right under my skin, it did. Told him if he didn't like it, he could bugger off and report me to the garrison. And do you know what he did? He smiled. And then he laughed. And then I did the same. We made a pact that day. That whenever one of us was in need, the other would always be there for him. And you were. Well, we both wanted the same thing. To make life better for bearers. Just like your dad. Do you know, I was born right around the time Elwyn became Archduke. Growing up, I saw how he tried to change things. He certainly didn't lack for ambition, that one. Indeed. But the loftier one's ambitions, the harder they are to achieve. Which is why those of us who follow in their footsteps need to finish what people like Sid and my father started. Suppose you're right, I. And if we don't manage it, there's always them who come after us. Good thing we've got a few half-decent sorts waiting in the wings, eh? It's almost enough to give you a little bit of hope. Hmm. <laughs> Just a little. Anyway, enough nattering. Better get back to work. Let's see about making everyone some dinner, shall we? The least the folks who saved Eastpool deserve is a hot meal. And you and me ain't gonna save the world on an empty stomach neither. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Feed me! Alright. Looks like that could potentially be the end of this uh, quest line. Maybe. Uh, oh, yep, it sure is. I think once we've gotten this item, that marks the end of it. A Martha's Rest signboard. The emblem of Martha's Rest. Personal fiefdom of the Golden Stables Indomitable Landley. To those with no love for the Empire, this element stands as an island of safety to see anything but. Wait, but don't you need this sign for when people walk in your, when your place and, ah, whatever. Ah, uh, you know, we just had an extra on the side. Just in case I decide to start a second location. Oh, yep. <laughs> Still there, so I guess, yeah. Just, just made a second one for me. Thank you. All right, that leaves only one last quest, and we are all caught up. And that's gonna be over with the dame. Hello there. Oh, Clive, what am I to do? My wards and I may soon be without a home. What's happened? The High Cardinal has descended from his lofty throne and taken up residence here in Northreach. The High Cardinal? Leader of the Council of Elders, 
second only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial government. Not that any of those things still exist. Now he goes by his noble title, the Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northridge? He wants to transform it into a military stronghold. A foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. He's already secured the support of the various army remnants. With promises that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in his empire. One built on the confiscated property of the people. He would rob the populace to pay for it. Believe me. I have used every means of persuasion to discourage him from this folly. But for whatever reason, he will not listen to me. What does Captain Philippe make of this? When the town was under attack, it was him the soldiers rallied around. Couldn't he use that influence again? How? By speaking out against one of the most powerful men in Sambrec. A man whose stated aim is to revive the Empire Philippe's comrades swore to serve, and to improve the soldier's lot within it. The captain can offer them a regular supply of gruel, and an occasional trip to the Vale to help them forget the terrors they face each day. The Duke offers them a vision of strength and safety. No. Any attempt to incite mutiny would cost Philippe the support of his men if it did not cost him his life. But given the mood around town, mutiny may yet be unavoidable. The people have little appetite for further deprivation, least of all when it serves only to elevate others. And who could blame them? Clive, would you appeal to the Duke on my behalf? I just kill him. your services to Northreach. You have the respect of the soldiers, and they will take you to his eminence if you ask them. And unlike Philippe, no bonds of loyalty prevent you from speaking your mind to the man. Well, will you try? You could hardly fare any worse than I did. I have no idea why the fuck you'd listen to me. Sure. I'll see what I can do. He sounds like a prick. Thank you, Clive. Tell me then. Where will I find this Duke of Oriflam? In the garrison? Overseeing the troops, yes. All right. Wish me luck. Under new management. I may have met this Duke before, at the remembrance ceremony. Let's hope I didn't make a strong impression. Halt. Oh, sorry about that. You're the dames man, aren't you? You got some business with the captain? No, actually. With the Duke. I was hoping I might be able to speak with him. We're under orders not to let any civilians pass. But you should be all right. His eminence has heard all about you and your heroics. Wait here. I'll go and ask. I don't feel like this is gonna go well. So, you are the sellsword who lent his aid to the garrison. The Empire owes you a debt, and I shall see it repaid. But tell me, is it wealth that you seek, or favor? Neither, Your Eminence. I thought only to inquire about your plan to turn Northreach into a stronghold. Ah, I see. You are worried the expanded garrison will render your services redundant. Yet you needn't be. A proud fighting man like yourself shall always have a place here. Pride of place, in fact. For too long has the contribution of the noble soldier been under-reckoned. But no more. For it is they who shall see the Holy Empire rebuilt, beginning right here in Northreach. Why here, Your Eminence? The town has been fortunate enough to escape largely unscathed from the recent troubles. Her defenses are sound, and her garrison well prepared. Which is more than can be said for Oriflam or Twinside. The Empire wants for a capital, and I believe Northreach to be the perfect place. So what if it smells a little bit like poo? 
with Cairn Norvant as her citadel. Once we have seen to the refortification of both the town and the castle, we need only build a wall around both to create a city that would be the envy of the twins. Plans are already underway for the construction. Soon enough, these thralls shall learn that they are no match for the might of Sandbrek. I fear you underestimate how dangerous these creatures are, Your Eminence. Should they return in force, you will need all the people of Northreach to come together in defense of the town. Something they may be loath to do if they've been deprived of their worldly goods. The people will do as their leaders command. If Sandbrek is to be rebuilt, she will require a functioning government. One whose authority is beyond question. That is why this levy is necessary. So that any man who wishes to join the army might do so and be fed, outfitted and paid as befits a defender of the Empire. <sighs> and yet there are those who persist in peddling the treasonous lie that I seek to steal from the people and drive them from their homes. I... suspect they're afraid of losing what little they have left. Precisely. Oh my god, it's this lady. The common folk have little and less, and you mean to deprive them of even that. You would sow the seeds of your new empire in your own salted earth. Sabine, we have discussed this. Yes, and I told you then how putting the empire before her citizens would lead only to revolt. Without an empire, there are no citizens. We are the empire. And in yours, there will be only beggars. Is that what Griga wills for her people? Do not take her name in vain, Sabine. I'll come back later. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys talk us out. The citizens revolt. I wonder what the people really think of the Duke's plan. It wouldn't hurt to ask them, I suppose. Let's begin with those on the other side of the wall. Time to get the lowdown. I've been hearing a lot of talk about a certain Duke. Nothing good, I'll wager. Going around acting like he owns the place. And with hardly a word to the dame. This is her town, not his. Mm. I take it you'd rather she was in charge. As far as I'm concerned, she still is. Just need his eminence to sod off back to Oriflam. Sod off! Okay. That's one point for the dame. That so-called duke is... All right there. What is it you're after, sir? Just your opinion, actually. I wondered what you thought of the Duke of Oriflam. <laughs> oh, him. Not much. None of us traders do. It's thanks to nobles like him that we had to set up shop this side of the wall in the first place. Couldn't have the rabble getting any closer to the holy capital, could they? And now he's trying to drive us out completely, threatening to take everything we got from us if we don't clear off. If the dame said she wanted him run out of town, I'll be straight through that checkpoint tar bucket in hand. That's another report for the dame. Not looking good for you, Duke. A question, if you don't mind. What do you think of the Duke of Oriflam? Mm, don't get me started. You build a life for yourself somewhere, only for some noble to turn up and tell you you've got to hand it all over to him. If he thinks his name and his chains give him the right to empty our purses, he's in for a rude awakening. We'll do whatever it takes to keep what's ours. Whatever it takes. That's three, dude. I don't think anyone in town likes you. Well, the people seem united enough. What about the soldiers? Oh. But the soldiers will love him. Obviously. He's only given food, shelter, and free dental. You. You're the one who was talking to his eminence. Yeah. On the cynical behalf, soldier. Yes. I was trying to persuade him not to take the people's goodwill for granted, but it seems my words fell on deaf ears. What do you think of his plans? I'm a soldier, mate. He tells me what to do, not the other way around. Listen, I've got nothing but respect for the dame, but I've got a family to look after. Yeah. That's where my loyalties lie. Not with the town or the empire, but with my wife and children. If the Duke can get us the men and the equipment we need to fight off those blue-skinned bastards, I don't care how he does it. Okay. 
I hear the Duke of Oriflam plans to turn this town into some sort of fortress. Do you think that's a good idea? Hell yeah! It's not for me to say. All I know is that unless the Emperor orders me otherwise, his eminence's word is law. Look, no one likes all these taxes and tariffs, but empires don't come for free. Once Sambrek is back on her feet, we'll all reap the benefits. So what if we don't have fucking Muhammad anymore, right? Fuck him! He was a little bitch anyway. Excuse me, do you have a moment? I wondered if you'd mind sharing your thoughts on the Duke of Oriflam. Well, <laughs> he's made a lot of enemies coming in the way he did. I mean, look around us. You can see the state the realm's in. The traders might not like having the screws put on them, but if they volunteered a few more of their hard-earned gill before things got bad, maybe they wouldn't have to. I think the Duke's got a point when he says rebuilding the Empire is the best way of making sure we're all protected. And if that means people who don't know one end of a saw from another have to make way for those who do, well, that's just how it goes. Hmm. Let's see what Philippe makes of all this. That's three for each. Means Philippe, it's up to you. You're the tiebreaker. Captain, do you have a moment? For you? Certainly. Clive, wasn't it? Thank you for last time. How can I help you? I wanted to ask you about the Duke of Oriflam. Do you intend to go along with his plan? But to tell you the truth, I'm in two minds. It's my sworn duty as a captain of the Imperial Army to obey his orders. But I can't say I agree with him. Philippe, I remember you saying that you became a soldier to protect the people you loved. The dame included. That's right. I did. Well, she doesn't agree with the Duke's orders either. She thinks they could tear Northreach apart. <sighs> and she's probably right. Thank you, Clive. I know what I need to do now. I must kill Except him. The people I love is what matters. Doesn't matter how. Well, duty calls. So I better go. Thanks again. It seems Philippe wants to do the right thing at least. I expect Isabel will be pleased to hear that, if nothing else. Ah, Clive. How did you fare? Were you able to speak with the Duke? I was, but... It went great! So Northreach is to be a fortress after all. Well, it will certainly help to hold back the thralls. There's no denying that. Though I doubt it will come as much consolation to the townspeople whose worldly goods are confiscated to pay for it. They deserve to be heard, Clive. To have a say in this new empire the Duke means to build. Sadly, his eminence values their obedience more than their opinions and hopes to reassert the authority of the state. I fear he sees the people as mere pawns on his chessboard to be sacrificed for the greater good. Needless to say, they themselves are of a different opinion, and would rather their destinies were in your hands. The soldiers, meanwhile, are content to follow their orders. And not just because of the Duke's rank, but because of his vision. I thought as much. Had I sworn to protect Sambrek, I dare say I too would want nothing more than to see it rise from the ashes. Thank you for trying. But the battle is lost. I don't know about that. Flip's holding the Duke's head. What happened to your uniform? I handed it in, along with my resignation. Told the lads I wished them well, but that I owe it to those I love to call it a day. But why? Because I realized what really matters to me. Not following some nobleman's orders for the sake of it. For protecting what I care about. Protecting Northreach. I honestly don't know when those monsters will return, but I'm certain they're not finished with us yet. And when they do come back, we need to be ready for them. We need to stand together, all of us. And with you to lead us, my lady, I reckon we can do it. It was you who finally convinced me, Clive. There's no point following orders if they go against everything you believe. Indeed. All of us. 
standing together. That has always been Northreach's best hope, and one which still lies within our grasp. We have only to turn our attentions to the true enemy. The Duke! Thank you, Philippe, for showing me what I must do. Anything for you, milady. Speaking of uh, standing together, would you mind if I borrowed a few of the lads from the Vale to help keep watch around the town? I fear his eminence has loftier tasks in mind for the guard. Not at all. Be my guest. Wouldn't be the first time. There may be hope for Northreach yet. Especially with men like you and Philippe to champion our cause. I, for my part, shall continue to work upon the Duke. In the stubborn belief that I might still tempt him into joining hands. But I suspect I shall have to call upon your aid again. Until then, Clive. Until then. Yeah, this isn't the end of this. Solely the beginning. All right, that seems to be uh, it for the time being. Which means it's time, finally time to talk to Otto. Well, let's go ahead and check my mail real quick. Tell him I'm made. Thanks for helping get the dungeon in order. Hey, had you not rode in Galilee to our rescue, I reckon poor Orwin. And them law would still be stuck still in by Blightwater over a barner. It's always room for improvement, though, so don't get your knickers in a knot. Should I come and knock on your chamber door for more spheres and ash and whatnot? Me oh, fuck, you better not. Uh, healer's place. Thank you for helping me guide my mentor free from his mortal coil. Contrary to what the Madden, Madden crowd believes, we physicers are not without our limits. I cannot hope to cure every ill and every wound save for every life. The only medicine that will see you home safe without its fail is prevention. Not that this knowledge will ever stop any of you from chasing down the, some behemoth for its toenails. Yeah, you're not wrong about that, right? And lost will be found. It's hard to believe Theo is gone. Every morning awake, I expect him to be there in the stables, watering the birds or rattling the packs. Yet he is not, and it is everything I cannot do to fall to my knees and weep. Still, I know I have to move on, but that doesn't mean I have to forget. My brother and I have built all we have here together. So long as I still have the caravans, he will ever be with me. I shall honor him in death by carrying on what he strove for in life. This is what I choose. Aw. The curse to fight. What happened in East Pool, the Bears and the Guardians has been a long time coming. I'm proud that a fight could finally happen here in Rosaria. The Tachia of old may not be no more, but Archduke Elwin's dream still bears in the hearts of many. It is through victories such as these that these fire will spread. It's only the beginning, Clive, but I'm fine beginning it is. Thanks, Martha. Checking all my cool shit. The Hangman signboard. Emblem of the Hangman in the tavern that sits at the heart of Lost Wing, now in the depths of an ether flood. Depicts a hooded, bound, and starved man hung by the ankles. Perhaps contemplating how we will take his vengeance on those who made him this way. Now that the Quintus strives to build a future of the remnants of the Lost Wing family, may have the same hangman will rise again, but likely under a different name. Ah, yes, I am getting a collection, literally a collection of signs. Uh, the rest signboard, the emblem of Martha's rest, personal fiefdom of the Lady of the Golden Stables in an island of safety and security in the sea of anything but. It shows a sleeping chocobo, and the guardians and bearers of Rosara can do rest easy, safe in the knowledge that they have a friend in Martha. What do you mean he's sleeping? His eyes are open. Uh, the Crimson Caravan signboard. The emblem of the Crimson Caravan's porter of wide renown based on the market of Boklud. It depicts a lightened chocobo after the death of her brother and confidant, Theodore. Eloise chose to continue the work that had been that begun together, freeing bears from slavery, just as she had freed him so many years before. There's still quite a few left, though. Look at these. They're all the ones that I don't have. I almost wish you wonder if some of those are, like, for being the game on, like, you know, Final Fantasy mode or getting the ultimate weapon or some shit. Because it feels like I've seen the conclusion to a lot of people's, like, quest lines at this point. All right, and, uh, Faith Undying. We are the shafts of Quicken in the Firebird's Wake from... The shadows do serve our lord and those who would be his wings. The undying. Spring of the swift shot. Lowers charge time for charge magic, but... Dude, the accessories in this game fucking suck. <laughs> Are you, I, I can't even believe this. I can't even... I can't even believe this. By point two... Oh, goody. Oh, goody. I'm sure I'm really going to feel a huge difference there. Huge oh, yeah. difference there. Is something wrong? Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. You fucking better be. Oh, that's it. Okay. All right, here we go. 
Off to elude the Shadow Coast. The land, long having fallen victim to the spreading blight, now even in the most meager of scrub struggles to draw life from the ether drain cliffs that loom above the barren coastline. Let's go find our love, love spot, Jill. I can see your I can still see your ass indentation in the sand. Where we did it. God, the landscapes really do still look fucking great in this game. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead. See if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Ow! Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. Then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. I think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? Are you bleeding out your face, Clive? Only that Joshua didn't. I <laughs> uh, don't get it. A neat context. The Kingdom of Elud. Footfalls and ash. Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Alright. Got a good ways to go here. We didn't suddenly get a bunch of new quests, did we? Nope. Though I suppose it's possible we could have gotten some more, uh, freaking bounties. Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav. Oh, this place is as dead as Grieger's ghost. Wolf Dark. Yeah, it says those guys over there. We're going over here. <gasps> A lord. Hey, fatty, what's up? Oh, pandemonium. Okay, well, I guess there is a bounty over here. S rank. Are you guys going to help or is it just going to be me? You're good. You're helping. Oh, it's the king of the castle. <laughs> it's the king. Ah! Might be bitch. Ow. No, I with that. 
Ah! Ah! Oh, guys, do some crazy shit. He's wildin'. Oh, God. Ah, oh, fucking dead. No. Shit. Fucking goddamn doodly. Oh, take this, you motherfucker. Oh. Casual 111,000 damage. Oh, God. Oh, God. Big spots now. Oh, he's getting crazy. He's getting crazy. Ah. Dead. Take that, bitch. Blow me the fuck up. A stained loincloth. Yeah, but... You're wrecked, nerd. With some regal arm guards. It's not better than what I have. It's kind of like pick, pick and choose. Three less HP for two more defense. Uh, uh, sorta. But also not. Oh, I think we're starting to get close. For the horde. Bump, bump, bump. Is the whole of Ash fallen into Ultima's hands? That's no peace delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No, my uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be a nest of slabbering monsters. <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. What? This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate. Perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets. And if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own. Of course. Mostly. He's kind of been doing it for most of my life anyway. Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. Okay. Who is there? See some better days. God damn. <laughs> the angry gap. Ugh, this place reeks like a mobile's asshole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that'll kill us. Yeah. Oh, hey. Another chronolith thing over here. Also, what? Mass immune? Is it the better one I have? It is not. Can I see what it looks like, though? Wow, it is literally Sephiroth's mass immune. That's amazing. I'm not wielding it left-handed, though. Immersion lost. Oh, it's Shiva. Uh, yeah, I guess so. So rhyme and mesmerize. <laughs> oh, snap. Snap, crackle, pop, bitch. All right, well, first one's done. Not too bad. Okay, now I'm getting uh, Ice Age. Dead. All right, doing work. Doing some pretty pretty good work with this. I'm definitely seeing what people mean about me uh, Mesmerize. Actually, it is actually pretty good. Like, it seems bad from the outset, but like, use it like a fucking shotgun. If you're right up in their shit, it does great stagger damage and actually does pretty decent regular damage, even when they're actually like, already staggered and has a very fast recharge. All right, now I think I'm getting uh, diamond dust. 
alongside my big icicle thing. So, yeah, Ice Age alongside Diamond Dust. Eat this! Ah! Snap, crackle, pop, you're dead! Ah! Ah! Alright, damn, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually doing some fucking work with Shiva here. She's not bad. Oh, we're fighting... Oh, this thing. That's right. All right, so now I've got uh, Rhyme and Diamond Dust. Infaraga. Well, how about this? Uh, uh. Holy shit. Holy shit. Fuck. Oh god, ow, ow, ow. Oh god, that was close, okay. Whew. All right, you know what? Not bad, Shiva, not fucking bad. Diamond dust, I'll take that. All right, that's literally all the ones I have at the moment. Leaving uh, only, I guess, Odin. Oh, he has a big ass bridge. Oh, much breath. Uh, don't look down, Toggle. Yeah. We're like, whatever. Quit being a pussy gap. That must be East Lass. Thanks, girl. Where the doodle pants everyone go? What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. No quarter, Gav. No quarter. I'm all out of quarters, Gav. You think all the villages in Asher like this? <laughs> Question for later, Gav. Probably. I don't want to die here, Clive. Then don't. Then fucking don't, damn it. Uh. Anyone left? <gasps> Big Chugawanga! Be big and angry. How? God, I love this move so much. It's so sick. Uh, uh, die! Still not done. Oh, there's a guy over here. There. Now we're done. I feel like I should get 8 billion in fucking experience for that. Gav. Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hi! Have you come to watch, Odin? Bound for Stonehead. Good. 
My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this! Whoa! Independence Day! What in the fucking fuck is that? Dance a big sword! A few of big swords. Oh, it's Gungnir and... The, whatever the hell the sword's called. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, I think it's just a bunch of Gungnirs. What did you do? Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? I think he's trapped us in here. Uh-oh. Er, watch out, birds! Oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? We seek an audience with the king. If his majesty wants me to come and ask him... ...then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition... ...we don't even know where the fucker went! How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? Maybe there's something here we can use. Good thing we still teleport out of here. Apparently. I thought we got them all. So did I. Well, this isn't at all foreboding. Nah. <laughs> Am I actually still alive? Please. Please. Please, no. Uh, miss. <laughs> Whoa. Easy. Easy. We're not turned, all right? How did this lady survive? Seriously. Whatever. Me not ask questions anymore. Me on new game plus 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 plus. Me stop asking questions at this point. My thanks. Kind travelers. Edda. Forgive me for asking, but... What went on here? It all 
started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Ark. One by one, people went mad. Minds taken by the ether. Till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came. And I didn't know what to do. And this, uh, Arke is... Just a story. Something our grandparents told us when we misbehaved. About how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath. The end of the world. You said the others went mad. But where did they go? They... They all left. East to the tower, to Reverie, the elders, the healer, the blacksmith, my husband. You thinking he did this? Of course. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. But then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? The baby, perhaps? Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. You mean... it's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower, that's where we'll find the king. How's Joshua doing? I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means at the end of these stairs should be... Vessel Ifrit. Garuda, Ramu, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. Even Leviathan the Lost is here. Ah, Leviathan, huh? <laughs> Even Leviathan the Cut Content is here. <laughs> yeah, it's part of it, right? It looks like Ifrit and Phoenix are fused. That's what I always thought. Yeah. I knew it! I fucking knew it! I was right! By the founder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? 
by our powers combined. So that's how it's gonna be then. I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. If I don't return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? <sighs> Aye. <sighs> Just don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. <sighs> don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. I ain't dead yet. Okay, you done moping. Let's go beat his ass now. Uh, all right, we're going over here. The Edge of Infinity. Hey, Famic uh, Sons of Ouroboros. Dope. No scratches, right? I was supposed to wonder if that might be, this might be the ultimate armor. This is yellow. If Barnabas is controlling the Akashic, then wherever he goes, they'll follow. And so will I. Hell yeah. I'm fucking coming for you, Barnabas. You better watch out, bitch. Ooh, Adamanti Gauntlets. Increases maximum HP by 500. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Cool. This is it, boy. Reverie, a single stolid spire rising above the deadlands to pierce the very heavens. Uh, you go first. I've come for you, Barnabas. Yeah, it's one of these doors. Stay close, Torgo. <laughs> The Last King. The tower. It's alive. Cool. So are these things over here. Balls. Big balls. Music. Going up. Why do all their floors seem to have a mind of their own? I wonder if there's any chance I can go up the elevator without something attacking me. Oh, wow. Call me surprised. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Oh! Parabolos! Purple bombs! Alright, another elevator. Take me up before you go, go. 
Get out of my way, you dumb fallen bugs. Ugh. Favor of ice. Uh, increase ice age damage by 12%. All right. All right, going even further up here. Whoa. Going up and over. Where would I be? The very fucking top. So I could look down on the world. Yeah. All right. Deeper and deeper and higher. How much branching paths in this one? It's all pretty just straightforward. Reach the top. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was a funny setting. Sit, kind of stock sound effect there. Oh, God. Oh. Help, I've got a laser in my chest and I want it off. Don't worry, I'll help you with that. Well, Ow. How fucking... There we go. Look this motherfucker. Dead. What was that thing? Hopefully there aren't any more. What do you mean, what was that thing? We fought like 30 of them by now. Clive, come on. Ah, oh, crap. No more elevators. Looks like we gotta run the rest of the way. Gonna make our way to the fucking top. This area looks kind of familiar. Two paths. I guess I gotta open up the bridge here. Or maybe they just lead to the same place. Ah, I'm thinking they just lead to the same place here. Elevator up. Hello there, ball. That's new. I think. Come on, then. Come on, then. Control node. Oh, hey, really? This is a callback to, I think, what was it? Was it FF6? <laughs> Check this out. Look at this. And then they're going to get a bleh. We got a bleh. And then one more time, we're going to get a bleh. Damn, I'm good. Press the attack. Oh, I'm pressing it. I'm fucking pressing it. Ugh. Ah. That does some fucking work, I tell you what. Wait, there's more. Golden giant. What's one more, eh, Toggle? That's right. Melt this motherfucker, Jesus Christ. Wow, that damage. And he's dead. Horum Giant. Oh, 
Oh, I think I might have reached the top here. You've been asking, asking for this shit for a long time. The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. Butcha. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep. They roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. You say malice? Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall. Not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning, stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet... There were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens. And they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open. And so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. And then he shorted my mom and fucked me. Wait, wait, what? What? What madness is this? My worth proven, the Lord charged me thus. 
If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering shall I prove my faith once more. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me, how is that living? What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. <laughs> Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of your will. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. But the weakness of yours. <laughs> That's a great line. Oh, Lord, here we go. Ugh. Oh, I'm ready, guys. Let's fucking do this shit. You've been asking this for a long time, Barnabas. Ow. Ow. Ah. Uh, uh. You mother. Ah, ah. Oh, he blocking my shit, huh? The Lord's measure. Nope. No, 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 no. What do you think you are, fucking Virgil? Here, hold this. Uh, come here. Sit on the ground, Barnabas. Uh, Gung near. Uh, uh, ow. Ah! What will you see, Barnabas? Barnabas! Come on. I'll show you what true demon power is. You dank bitch. Uh, uh. And this too. Uh, uh. Chose you to serve as his vessel, and you cling to this foolish notion of hope when there is none. Fuck. Oh, fuck me. Oh, he priming. I think it's time I prime up too, baby. Desperate, are we? Ah! Oh, bitch! Uh. Don't you touch me with your horse feet! Ah! Finally, we can begin. Yeah. No fair! I can only jump real good. Uh, uh, 
eat this shit for the fur. Oh, Fucker! You have been shown the path. Now you must follow it. Free yourself, Mythos. You will not defeat me otherwise. We'll see. We'll see, bitch. Oh god. Holy shit. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna stay on this side. Whoa! Hold this. Ow! Ow! Ah! Ah! Come on, you mother! Get him, Torgal! Uh oh, get out of the way! Holy, holy shit! I gotta get out of this thing. Oh, come on again. Again. How you like that? You admitted defeat the moment you turned your back on us. When you turned your back on the truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your god believes. Uh, I don't think he gave a fuck. God, I was like, God, Toril, do not get hit by that, please. Damn it. Try us again. Ah! Holy shit. What you will. Big sword. One hit kill. Zetetsukin. Could it be you've 
made a weapon of your weakness. Oh, cool. I took, like, part of his sword. My apologies. Or I made my own sword. I don't know. You are not the fool I took you for. Ah. So it is. <laughs> what? Don't tell me you are tired, Mythos. Your stubborn defiance has stirred my long becalmed heart, filling it with a joy that I have not known for generations. I had thought the tantalizing kiss of self-indulgence a dream forever out of reach. And now that its sweet ruin courses through my veins, I shall not be quick to relinquish it. Holy shit. So may your work be thus that I might revel in it. Oh, fuck. Gathering darkness! Oh god! Ugh. No, nice! Ugh, come on! Ugh. Here, hold this! And this! Ugh. Ugh. Also hold that. Ah, uh, come on. That all you got, Barnabas? You dick motherfucker. Have I suffered the disappointment of lesser rivals? No more. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god, it looks so sick. Great divide. Uh, oh, that was an anime as fuck. How do you know this day will come? What proof have you? Why? I'm gonna punch you in the fucking piece of shit, motherfucker. Oh. oh my god, the music's getting crazy! Oh my god, it's just fucking crazy! Oh. Oh. Come on! Oh. Oh god. Ah! Punching, 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 punching. Yeah, how do you like that, you mum? What the Woden Warta Wios? Nani? Uh oh. My heart. It soars. Ah, <laughs> fuck. I won ass. Since then, many have sought my crown. Whoa. It from my head. That's ah! <laughs> so sick. Come. Oh. Have you the strength? Have you the will? 
Uh oh. What the? I think he's getting tired now. Come here. Whoa! Circle of Malleus. Oh, oh God! Oh my sweet baby Jesus! No! Man, fuck this shit! You're not going anywhere! Ah! Yes, yeah, right, that shit. Ah! Taste this parry. Ah! Come on, hit me. Fucking hit me, you bitch. I'm right here. I'm right fucking here. Ah! 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 Punch it through that shit. I give a fuck. Oh god. Oh shit, at the wrong thing. Come on, one more time. Oh, shit, I missed. Now oh, there we go. Okay, fucking throw this down. Fucking power up. Fucking shoot this. Come on, come on, you yeah, motherfucker! Get up! 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 And we both know the truth. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Clive Rossfield. Bye, Barnabas. Have fun on the way down, you bitch. Cool. <laughs> Barnabas slain. Well, that was dope. No big kaiju fight, though? Not really? Dark Shar, the power of the icon Odin. I don't know, might, there might still be more. I mean, like, there kind of was, but there's never a point where I was actually, like, roaming around in my, uh, my icon form. my own <laughs> you relinquished nothing what was it if not will that made you strive for a new world strive to win your master's approval I... You were 
shown a fantasy, and you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world but the one we live in. And that world... That world is worth saving, even if it means killing a god. And then becoming a god. Now give me your bullshit. Oh. Bold words. From one who has served the Lord so well. This is pointless. But I almost forgot. <laughs> I promised that I would make you presentable. Did I not? Toro, buy his ass. We shall fulfill our destinies just as the Lord's Mother Crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. I don't want it. Get the shit out of you. That bitch dead. Can't kick him in the fucking face. At long last, salvation. I'm coming home. Mother. Yeah, bleh. And there he goes. Turned a cash in the end. Oh, because he lost his ability, right? So he 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 wasn't a a dominant anymore. Tell me, how does it feel? So then the the ether flood actually turned him a cash and he just faded away. Show yourself. Face me. How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To gorge yourself on their being. Pretty dope. To edge step by trembling step, ever closer to the divine. Stop edging me, Ultima! With or without a will, you are still but a vessel. Our vessel. Behold. Behold! How your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. It's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. Worm? There, all shall end and begin again. I'm a fucking god! Alright, let's get this shit out of here, right? <laughs> These are my gun gears now.
A vessel complete. I collected the final piece. Meanwhile, Hunky, run! Oh, check that shit. Why the hell is my city going with a captain? Don't ask me, ask them. Headbutt. <laughs> since when was I gonna have all one to hide when there was a fight to be had? Since they stripped me of my rank and banished me from the battlefield. Now I'm stuck fighting the backsides of this one while the city burns and my wife tails off the man half my age. <laughs> and then you turn up. What the hell are you doing here anyway? Uh oh. What indeed? <laughs> the enemy numbers 200,000 or more counting the yours. There are simply not enough soldiers counting in the capital to repel an army of that size. Then, one of the central keep, held by a contingent of soldiers and bearers from the surrounding boroughs. They are the sole reason it still stands. And all it took was an army on their doorstep to bring them together. The prospect of death does put things into perspective. <laughs> perspective. Perhaps it's what we've lacked all along. Oh, fucking! Ow! Ow! Okay, no. Havel, I need you to lend me some of your best men. Preferably all of them. My best men? Does it look like I have any more? I admit this might not be the most convenient time, but my nephew's in trouble. And I may have already promised him your help. Your nephew, the outlaw. My soldiers have better things to do than die for nothing. And you and he are of the same mind. I fight for the opposite. He fights for a world in which he shouldn't have to live and die for nothing. Yes. And he fights today to give us all the chance of a better tomorrow. Be that as it may, a handful of men cannot stand against the kingdom. Oh. Then mayhap they are the wrong <gasps> men. Dion! Well I'll be dead. Well I'll be fucked. Our numbers are few. But I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. Redemption! You apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, your radiance. And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye, but I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needing Gather the them the bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. Oh, Terence is still alive. Come here, make out with me. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life. And I always pay my debts. Medicine girl? You are to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. And I must earn it by my hand, and my hand alone. No, that I do not ask this lightly. And know that I will do it. Aww. 
Farewell, Terence. No kiss goodbye. <sighs> Some time later. Isla. <sighs> Clive, thank fuck. You all right? Thank fuck. I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. The king is dead. Long live the king. So, so they're, they're all... They are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. You're safe. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lord. Me lord. Be a hell of a fucking walk, dude. Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. Can we go too? This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned. We'll be here by choice. All to serve Ultima. In his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. Oh, was he always a Kashyyyk or something? The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. Yeah, that's what I meant. How many were killed for this? Uh, he didn't consider it killing. Or a mercy of sorts. A way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. <sighs> As he uses us. But why? 
by us. What are we? What are we? We are dominance. That is our fate. But that doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. Barnabas said something else. That the mother crystals were Ultimus. Hear the Final Fantasy theme. You said. We know that the mother crystals have been leading the land of Ether. And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did you find at the stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, I believed it to be you. And you alone. Yet, it is not merely a fruit that he desires, but a fruit and phoenix both. That which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined, shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Unless... There is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all... We will stop not only the Blight... But Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then. Only this time... We face him together. Well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. <sighs> cool. Brotherhood. All right, the power of darkness. Clive just claimed a portion of Icon Odin's essence. Doing with Odin, Odin not just the elemental aspect, but also allows access to several new Icon abilities, such as Gungnir, a frenetic flurry of attacks that damages all enemies within range. Odin's iconic feat, Arm of Darkness, can be used to temporarily transform Clive's weapon into the legendary Odin's legendary blade. Well, that's amazing. Uh, landing attacks slowly charge the blade, readying it for Zentetsuken. Yes, which is executed by holding square. So just so you can put it these determined by the blade charge at the time of execution. Oh my god, that looks amazing. When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. Cool. Behold! Arm of Darkness. Laying hits with it, it fills the Zentetsuken. So what is increasing it? Increases the maximum Zentetsuken level to five. Wow. Gungnir. Summon the legendary spear Gungnir and execute an extended flourish of deadly slices and strokes. Each hit land landed fills the Zentetsuken. Oh, that also does it. Okay. Heaven's Cloud. Surge forward to strike an enemy and can be executed multiple times in succession if previous hit lands. Also fills Zentetsuken. Rift Slip. Used to recover from any ability or action. What? Like, is it like a cancel? That's kind of nutty. Dancing Steel. Summon a second blade and unleash a flurry of attacks. Each landed, each hit landed significantly fills the Zentesuken gauge. Interesting. Seems like the ultimate in reality, though. Like, this is his, supposed to be the super move, but I think the super move is actually just Zentesuken. Cool. I'll have to fuck around that next time.
But yeah, guys, it's definitely looking like we are heading down into the nitty gritty here. I'm actually kind of curious if I back out. Is there, well, there's a quest over there. Uh, currently in the back of the hideout, though. Quest around here somewhere. Oh, up this way. But I just feel like we are starting to uh, head into the potential end game. I don't know if, I mean, based on how this is going, I'd imagine we have maybe we're anywhere between three to five episodes left, probably give or take. But it was good. I, I will say, I, I I think that fight with Odin was really sick, though I am a little disappointed we didn't get a big kaiju fight. I, I'm sort of surprised by that. Every other one beforehand did have that. And it feels sort of like, I don't know, oddly missing here. It almost makes you feel like it could have been cut content or something, you know? Like they, like they ran out of budget by the time they got to Odin. I mean, it was still really cool. Don't get me wrong. It was still a really dope fight. But just like in comparison to the other ones, it feels like like it was missing that, you know? But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already become a picky penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the day is always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.